Aloha from California. I'm back from Hawaii, but it was a great trip, man. It was a great trip. We had hashtag shenanigans in Hawaii. Hawaii night. Aloha, brother. You don't got the aloha spirit no more. What the freak, bro? I feel like COVID took the aloha spirit out of everybody in Hawaii. What the fudge, bro? Like, what the freak, bro? It's all good, man. It's all good. I still got aloha. I still brought the aloha to the island, if you know what I mean. Hey, man, it was a great trip, man. It was a great trip. I had a lot of hashtag fun, got some work in, got some great, great, great quality time, and some just fantastic, fantastic memories. Relived a lot of memories, honestly. And if anybody doesn't know, Hawaii is where my true OGs are. My true OGs reside in Hawaii. Since I'm in Jimmy's Journey, I'm traveling. Um, got a couple OGs in Eau Claire, if you know what I mean. But my my main my main homies are in Hawaii, man, and I am I'm very loyal to them. And the fact that I was able to get this trip into Hawaii was unexpected. It never would have happened if I never went on Jimmy's Journey. If I was still in Eau Claire, it never would have happened. And I am forever grateful for it. I got the highlights for you in this hashtag video. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to see what my lifestyle used to be like. Because this is literally what I was coming from when I came back to Eau Claire. Um, this is exactly what I was doing. It was great times. Living at the farm. Staying at the shank. With my old Uncle B. My old squad leader back in the army. My first squad leader in the army turned into the owner of a dragon fruit farm. And... The rest is history, as they say. Reunited with the old brother, the blonde-haired John Famous Morkin, LOL. Got to try and raise his status while I'm here for a short time, so here he is. Say what's up, John. What's up? <laughs> we go into the airport. It's been a short stay in LA. It's been real LA. It's been fun, Good but it ain't been real be fun. <laughs> so, uh, nah, it's good. I'll visit John when I get back. It's gonna be good times. We gonna have fun. All right, see you in a bit, Hawaii. Deuces. Proving Grounds, where little Jimmy became James, where James became Jimmy. This is where the OG van life started. Had my van parked over there. This hose used to be my shower. Hashtag cold. Meanwhile, this is the shack where I hashtag lived after I got out of the van. Just hashtag more space. All right, all right, all right. We got some food going in the hashtag shack. Got some avocado mixed with some almond butter, mixed with some cinnamon, mixed with some raw honey, mixed with some chocolate dark chocolate and uh pretty good giving me a good experience this is the kitchen of the shack got some rice going some wild rice all the way from minnesota duluth minnesota hashtag meanwhile this is the shack my hashtag sister's living in it so she's maintaining it right now this is where i spent few months of my life right after I got out of living out of the black van I moved into the shack and it was pretty dirty so we cleaned it up made a window and this is uh, where um, the Zen master James Morkin came to be it's all about creating Zen if you know what I mean here's the bathroom Where's this one? put in some 
Hashtag flooring, because hashtag why not. Here's the shower, hot water heater, and toilet, so you can poop in the poop in the shack. And that's the bathroom. Meanwhile, got some air flowing. The window really got some air going. Um, east and west in the shack. Here's the old Yeti that I used to use. Hashtag totems. It's a lot bigger than my present cooler. I guess it takes a lot more ice too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we harvesting out here. Ouch! Hashtag pokey pokey. So we bust off the old flower. Got some ants crawling on there, it's all good. Cut it nice and close. And we good. Nice and red, nice and juicy. I know you go to the local Woodman's or the local Cub Foods and these bad boys are nine bucks a pound. I mean, nine bucks a pop for a small and looking, rotty looking one. Look at this bad boy. Clean, red, fresh, and ripe. Ready for harvest, baby. All right, all right, all right. We got a couple buckets of dragon fruit. We gonna put it in the hashtag tractor so we can sort it out at the front. They're nice and plump and juicy and red. And yummy. Yummy in my tummy. Yeah. a truck full where am i going uh we went that way we going into the main part of the we going into the main part of the of the field hashtag harvest all right all right all right oh yeah let's hit this row let's hit this row on the right This is today's product. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Let's eat. A couple ways to do it. I showed you the other one, I think. Hashtag peel it like a banana. Or you can do it the fun way. Whoa, yikes. Ho ho, it's a red one. Didn't know that. Alright, I'm just going to slice it in half like so, and uh, cut it into, cut it into pieces. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ouch. Alright, one slice for you, baby girl, and one slice for me. good mood food. If you know anything about me and my hashtag spirituality, you know my favorite book of the Bible is Ecclesiastes, written by the ENTP Solomon. After um, lamenting how meaningless life is, how the futility of everything, you know, you work so hard for your life, and then what, you give it to someone who didn't work for it, and who knows what they do with it. Everything is futile. Everyone dies. Um, m man and Animals share the same fate. They both breathe and they both die. He gets done lamenting all of that and being like, what's the point of anything? But then he goes on and says, so I decided there is nothing more than to enjoy food and drink and to find satisfaction in work. Then I realized that these pleasures are from the hand of God. 
For who can eat or enjoy anything apart from him? There you have it. There you have it. Eat, drink, enjoy the satisfaction of your vapor. That's what I did in Hawaii on the farm. Those are some of the best experiences that I've had in a long time. That's what it's all about for me, man. That's what it's all about. It all comes back to food. Hey, man. Enjoy, enjoy good food, bro. Homemade food, man. No one cooks better. No one knows how to enjoy food with people better than B and his entourage of friends, family. I absolutely love it. I'm loyal to that. I'll stick around for that. I'll go back to that. Absolutely. It gives me such a good experience. Hawaii was a lot of fun, man. I had a good experience, good learning experience, good feedback. I got so much feedback and just a lot of re, re, reaffirming a lot of a thing, a lot of things. Reaffirming. And it was, it was so good to see improvement in my friends. And I hope they, I, I hope they saw improvement in me. I thought, I hope that they found a new me because I feel like a completely different person from the man that I came back in Eau Claire to in March. I, I feel like a completely different person since I started Jimmy's journey, bro. Like, Happened so fast, man. It's all good. Hands down, the best part of my experience in Hawaii was the quality time. Anyone who knows me knows I'm just a sucker for quality time. I got my four ride or dies in Hawaii. And y'all know who you are, man. I love you guys. I respect you guys so much. Each one of you guys upgraded yourself. You are a better version of yourself now than the last time I seen you back in, back in March. Each one of you has taken steps to upgrade your inferior functions, you know, performance, increasing your performance and securing a better future for yourself, being responsible about your future and not being too proud to, to perform properly. I mean, that's freaking amazing. I love that. Can't help but, you know, stick around for that experience. You know what I mean? LOL. And, you know, my, my rogue, you know, putting, putting SI inferior, putting, Putting your whole security and your whole comfort at risk because you're not going to bow down at the feet of, of the statue of Nebuchadnezzar, aka the COVID vaccine, COVID vaccine. <sighs> Willing to sacrifice your own comfort, your own security because you're not going to conform because you're going to be, you're going to be the pariah. You're going to go anti-society because hashtag, that's what the are made for anyways. That's our, that's our lot in life. It sucks, but I respect the ones that are put everything on the line, their own comfort and their own safety and security because they know they can endure because they know they're so strong. They know they can outlast anybody. It's amazing. And T Inferior, watching you put your reputation on the line for what you want, but at the same time, you know, getting a gauge of being responsible for what you want. Man. You know, my any hero, I have to put my any hero around people who are successful, who have good futures themselves, because then I myself can allow myself to have a good future. Then I can intertwine my future with you. I can absorb your good habits. I can learn from you. You can teach me. You can criticize me. You can, you can uh, help me in, in your journey because you're, you're on a good path. And so I can put myself on a good path. Let me teach you how to improve your life, or you teach me how to improve my life. Otherwise, K okay, bye. Like seriously, that's 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 it for me, man. Like that's it for me, man. I'm not saying I'm right by doing that. I'm just saying that's my preference. That's my natural preference, predisposed because of my cognition that I have. Okay. So if you're concrete, if you're past focused, you are just as good or bad or neutral as anybody else, including me. Okay. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm just future focused and. I'm not saying I need future focused friends. I'm just saying I need people who can improve me the meaningful way, the way of, of the, the, the hard work, the tortoise route, not taking shortcuts and this or that. And so y'all, y'all are it for me, man. Like I'm on Jimmy's journey. I don't have a lot of friends that I can just have in person. And pretty much they're all in Hawaii. Most of them are in Hawaii for me. And, it's sad that I can't be with y'all, but at the same time, y'all motivate me, bro, because I better upgrade myself for next time I see you. And I will see you again because hashtag it just gave me such a good experience in Hawaii, man. 
gave me such a good experience in a way. I have to go back. I have to go back and have a lot of fun with you guys. And you better believe I'm going to improve myself. You better believe I'm going to be working on my habits. You better believe I'm going to be strengthening myself, gaining experience. Hopefully I can teach you from some more experience that I gained. You can do the same for me. We can we can call each other out. We can criticize each other. We can not enable each other. <laughs> it's so funny because once I became aware of my druid friend being my bronze pair, not an ISFJ, um... I realized how much we enabled each other because <laughs> hashtag bronze pair enables each other. Like, like all, like all get out. And so I worked on it. I worked on not enabling him, and I, I feel like he was doing the same thing to me because he criticized me openly about a couple things <laughs> that I was doing, and and it's good, man. Uh, I'm 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 grateful, man. Hawaii is an absolutely beautiful place. Enjoying the scenery was something that I cherished doing. I'm still learning how to just take it in, enjoy the moment. I'm so future focused. I don't focus on my present moment as an SI inferior. I am shadow focused. I don't focus on my ISFJ subconscious and I don't focus on my experience, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm learning. Uh, Red Warrior Within talking about how you should stop analyzing your experience and just ex experience it and enjoy it and not worry about how it can be better. That's what I struggle with, but the ENTP Bruce Lee... He figured that out, and I want to steal his trick on that one. For sure, for sure. Did some AARs with my druid. Did some AARs with my ENTP friend and my druid. That was such a cherished moment. Just talking about talking about our depravity, you know. SI inferior, if you're an ENTP, if you're an SI inferior, you, you're depraved, bro. You're straight up depraved. If you're an ENFP or an ENTP, you have SI inferior, you're depraved, straight up. And you have to fight that depravity every single day. You can have all your atomic habits. You can have your ha habits all lined up in a row. And you're just good to go for X amount of days straight. You wake up one day and you're like, uh-uh. Not doing it today. And you can become pray depraved just like that. Where you just became entitled to every little creature comfort. Every little pleasure. I deserve this. I deserve this. And it sucks. It can consume your life. And... We talked about that, how we struggle with it, man. You know, I talk all this shice about eating healthy and working out and whatever, but I have days and sometimes they can stretch out into um, series of days where I just get so depraved and and I just don't want to do anything. And it's, it's a struggle, man. Everyone has that type of struggle in their own way, but it manifests in this way for an ENP, an SI inferior. It's, it's absolutely horrible. I hate it. I hate myself for it sucks but but um but yeah we talked about that we we encouraged each other you know and we did man we did we got out in the field we we picked some picked some weeds some um just worked did some field work it's hard to explain lol um worked in the dragon fruit and you know, that's 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 how you get out of it, man. You just be productive. You just do stuff. You you literally do stuff. <laughs> get off that get off that arse, if you know what I mean. And I'm I'm glad I figured that out. Um I'm glad I have that ability to identify that. It sucks getting out of it. It really sucks getting out of it. But you get through it, man. Your SI user, you can endure, you can get through it. So that's what it's all about. Alright, Hawaii. It's been real. It's been fun. But it was real fun. Aloha. Mahalo. Have a nice day.